Hey, 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 we are here with Katya. How are you, honey? Hi, Andra. I I'm fine. Thank you for asking. How are you? This surviving, let's say surviving. This is not the um, this is not the, the month that I was expecting it to be, to be honest. <laughs> How's it, how's it going, staying, uh, staying at home, not being able to travel so much? Well, um, actually, the only thing what changed for me is that I don't travel, but my routine hasn't changed much because I was working from home already one year. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, and um, mm, I like uh, that I spend more time with uh, my family. <laughs> that's good that's good i know that you're a big uh, like you like to do sports you're a very fit oriented person has it has it changed in any way i have everything at home i have my office at home i have uh, my training uh, place at home i um, uh, have a pole because i also do pole dancing um, Yesterday was very fun here in Prague, um, in our neighborhood, someone um, came with a big car and uh, speakers and uh, they started to do training outside and people went on the balconies and started to work out on the balconies. So it's, uh, it's fun in, in Prague. And actually in Prague, it's not really depressing atmosphere. Uh, people get used to it and uh, they're fine with everything they understand and just wait and on the meanwhile they're not sad and crying but doing something that can what they can do so i'm more or less like check people i think <laughs> that's good prague is one of my favorite cities it's such a it's such a beautiful city i i miss it i i can't wait to go back to it <laughs> when did you when did you move to prague uh, I moved uh, nine years ago. Oh, wow. I think nine. Yeah, but, but uh, I haven't been living in Prague all these nine years. I also was living in Holland. Uh, now, yeah, now I don't know <laughs> how long. Okay, so well, uh, we, we've known each other for, for a few years now, but for the people that don't know you, tell, me, uh, tell us a bit about who you are, who's Katya, and uh, what do you do? Okay, with pleasure. I'm Katya Tuni. Uh, I'm CEO and the founder of Models Guide. Uh, Models Guide, it's the first uh, online school for cam models and studios. Uh, we provide uh, quality training and uh, we're showing uh, people that... Uh, Cam modeling is a prestige profession. And uh, the key elements of uh, our educational program is uh, branding, is building online relationship with uh, members, and uh, self-developing. Okay. Um, yeah, this, this is basically what it is. And uh, at the moment, we are oriented on the Russian-speaking uh, market. But uh, we plan uh, to start making products for English-speaking as well. Okay, so um, I'm, a, I, I, I'm Russian and I want to be a model. How, how do I do? How, how can you help me? Okay, uh, if you want to be a model and you don't have experience, uh, you can join uh, my virtual studio and get uh, uh, one year training of me and my team um, for 20% of your earnings or you can uh, buy uh, the training without virtual studio and it will cost uh, for now with a discount it's uh, $333 per month okay. and you can uh, um, we have three courses it's a basic course uh, which is uh, three months uh, and uh, we have a, uh, advanced course it's also three months and we have course top model which is six months you can go through one course or through two courses or uh, take all the three. So I'm guessing if uh, depending on if the model is experienced or she's been a model before, she can either like if she's not, she's never camped before, she starts with the basic one. But if you're already a cam model and you know like the, the things, you just buy the top top model part or how does it work? Everyone goes through basic because it okay. uh, doesn't matter how much uh, info you have and how much experience you have uh, on every course there information that uh, if model miss she cannot uh, 
be like top or uh, mm -hmm. have uh, top earnings. Okay, and uh, does it is it specific to a certain platform, or do you have you know it's a training for all the platforms? How does it work? Mm -hmm. uh, my training uh, is for premium uh, campsites okay. for models who work on the premium campsites. Uh, personally, in my virtual studio and in my physical studio, I have uh, uh, I'm working only with one platform. It's uh, Live Jasmine. And, uh, but I have students who work on different campsites and free for free and stream made and uh, uh, XLove cam. And even we have students who perform on uh, freemium camps, but they are more oriented on private than on free show. So um, it's, uh, it, it depends from model to model. And this is how we work. How did you how did you come up with the idea? I know that you've had a studio before, like a, a, a physical one, but how did this uh, this idea did it come in while you were having the physical studio or afterwards? Well, I am in the industry already 14 years, like 14. And uh, I started when I was uh, 19 and I started as a model. I um, worked very hard and I reached uh, uh, top uh, being a top model on the platform where I worked and uh, uh, my um, like power was that I built a relationship with uh, members you know and it's uh, exactly pure uh, premium um, business model uh, and uh, of course I in these 14 years I did many things uh, I tried uh, many things I went on the different uh, summits, trade shows, uh, courses, education, finished university. I ran my studios uh, in Ukraine, then I moved uh, to Prague. I ran the studios in Prague. And uh, all these years I uh, was training models who worked uh, in my studios. Uh, and it was a moment when I uh, uh, left uh, studio in uh, Ukraine and moved to Prague and I needed to uh, give some educational material to managers and models so they can train models. Uh, so I was actually in a plane flying from Odessa to Prague, uh, opened my laptop and I started to write and I um, opened the document and I named it a Models Guide. <laughs> so I started to write what to do with the model when she comes to interview then she her first shift second shift third shift what she needs to learn uh, what kind of photos she needs to make content you know and um, it was like nine years ago when i moved to prague um, and since these nine years uh, this model's guide uh, improved and improved and improved because i used it in uh, prague uh, also and uh, um, every time I know something I write, I had idea like to write a book, uh, like model's guide, but uh, uh, then I uh, came with idea why not to open online courses because it's a trend, it's interesting, it's uh, in demand and uh, I did it. <laughs> and also it's, it's always changing. So what you write now before you finish the book, some things might be changing, you know, on the platform or something like that. Yes. And this, yes, is, yes. this is cool. This is really, this is really cool. And how do, like, how do models approach you? Do they just go on the website or how, how do they find you? Uh, I have uh, several uh, social media. I do uh, my blogging. Uh, I write a lot of articles, actually give a lot of free information about cam modeling. I have a YouTube channel. I have a, um, a channel in uh, social media Telegram, if you know this. Uh, I have a, a VK, I have Facebook, I have Instagram, like everywhere. And um, uh, I give a lot of free information and people like it, you know, when they read and they see the expertise, they just uh, sign up. Of course, I have a website and uh, there is everything, all my products. Uh, someone is, who is interested in training, they buy training, but I also have a small products which can help any uh, experienced care models. Those products are uh, like 
uh, style book, um, which is made by a professional stylist, and uh, she uses uh, uh, innovative uh, appearance typing system, which is uh, uh, used in Hollywood to make movies. And the um, model gets a style guide, yeah, guide for her style. And she um, uh, gets recommendations for her looks, for her makeup, for her hair, for her interior room, and uh, even the backgrounds for photo shoots and ideas for photo shoots. And also, uh, we have uh, another product, which is also very cool. It's uh, it calls Brand Book, and it's a guide for her personal brand, for her personality, online personality. Uh, and uh, we make it by um, also a system. <laughs> it's um, uh, the personality uh, archetypes system. Uh, it's a psychological. It's uh, uh, it was uh, the archetypes was invented by uh, Carl Jung, the famous psychologist, and uh, uh, later. Uh, marketologist uh, started to implement the archetypes in the marketing and, and branding. Uh, so actually it's uh, 12 archetypes which has every personality has. But some of us, we, uh, we have more uh, developed some archetypes, some, some less. Mm -hmm. And the uh, uh, model is making tests and we see which archetypes are leading in her personality. and. We give her uh, images which, which she can use for her look, for her streams, and for, to make her content. And uh, this makes brand very unique. So this is basically a guide for uh, personal brand for models. Do you also work with studios? Because, uh, and I don't want to bash anyone here, but there are, there are some studios that, you know, they, they have the models and they just throw on a dress on them, make the, the same makeup, put them in the same rooms. Um, and, you know, some models are okay with it, look good in it, some not so much because we're different personalities. Do you also offer your, um, your courses to studios? Do you have studios that you work with? Yes, absolutely. Everybody can buy my course uh, or uh, individual model or even studio. I have uh, for studios, I have a special offer, uh, which is 10% uh, of the model's revenue and uh, the models get all our training and support. How do you how do you see if the model, you know, how this might sound like a weird question, but how do you see exactly how the model earns what the model earns? and nobody's you know, fooling you with the model's earnings? Uh, uh, we have a contract, and in this contract it says that on a period of education, we have access to the model uh, accounts. Oh, okay. Well, um, tell me, during, you're obviously, you're, you said you're at home, you're working from home for a long time now. Uh, did COVID-19 affect you personally or your business in any way? Uh, as I said, I travel less, but somehow I feel very relieved about it because I traveled so much last year and I just needed that period of staying home. Of course, in the beginning, I had very, um, I was very anxious and uh, scared uh, because I, I, I even was traveling for my holidays in Sri Lanka just before lockdown. And uh, it was like a moment when I'm on the ocean and I'm free and I uh, have this uh, feeling of freedom. And then uh, in a few days, you know, you lock down at home and you cannot do, you know. Of course, I had, a, uh, I was very uh, depressed a few weeks, but uh, then, I started to accept it and I started to adjust and uh, now I can say I'm 100% well. This is what about personally. Uh, about uh, professionally, of course, there are some changes. Uh, first of all, uh, people, the clients are scared if they should spend money or not, you know. Um, also marketing, you know, I started to do more marketing, uh, which is uh, 
more connected to people. I uh, do a lot of live streams, uh, a lot of talks to my audience. Uh, um, I um, also changed something in my team and we work really hard because I believe uh, it's not only because of COVID, but also because of economical crisis uh, around the world. Um, I think the, the one who works hard will survive and uh, we have no choice, we, we work hard. Uh, you, you talked to me about your team. How, how big is your team? Uh, I have uh, for now um, me and five people. Okay, and each of them are doing what within the company? Mm -hmm. uh, so I have a, a stylist, uh, Milena, you know her, she's uh, responsible for styling and, and uh, looks. I have a um, uh, trainer, Alena, Alena, I don't know how to say it in English, Alena, let's say Alena. <laughs> and uh, she started as a uh, course uh, curator, I don't know how to say it in mm -hmm. curator, is it the same uh, yeah. word? Uh, and uh, now she is a trainer. She also uh, gives trainings and uh, support models on uh, um, behavior and psychological side. Yeah, so we have uh, Alena, uh, we have uh, uh, Olga, and she is a uh, uh, brand manager for models, and also she is doing brand and marketing for uh, Models Guide and uh, your editor, content editor, because we make a lot of content and we have uh, also a counter. Okay, well, the, the accountant is very important in any business, guys. <laughs> That's very important. Katia, you are, I, like, I've known you for, I think since I started in this industry, so it might be like five, four or five years. You are a business person, you are, an amazing pole dancer. You are a mom. You are a superwoman. How do you do all this? Where do you find the time? How do you find the energy? I am not a superwoman and I'm not perfect. I just show what I'm good at and I don't show what I'm bad at. <laughs> okay. so really, how do you find the energy to do all I have all the same problems as uh, the people you mentioned. I, uh, I wake up every morning and like, oh, fuck, again. <laughs> you can say fuck, it's okay. <laughs> then I have my morning coffee and I start uh, running, running. And I, uh, in the afternoon, like now time, I'm full of energy. I am ready to conquer the world. I do a lot of things. At evening, I felt exhausted and I lie down on my couch and do nothing and then, and then I go to bed and in the morning I wake up and it's again. But I have, uh, I have a uh, goal and mm -hmm. I go for it. And uh, this is what moves me, I think. But, but I, I struggle with the same problem as everybody. You know, I struggle with uh, depression, I struggle with... Uh, um, situation, the life situation, you know, life is uh, not easy and, uh, you know, I cannot say I'm perfect uh, entrepreneur or I'm perfect mom or I'm perfect pole dance. I do what I can, I do what I love and um, this is my power, I think. That, that that's so cool that's so cool what did, what do you think you you were telling me about you know training the models and everything what do you think makes a good model and what are like the five things that any model should have no matter the site that she works on that makes her a really good model okay um i'm not sure about five but i will count as much as i can uh, first, the model um, needs to treat this work as a business because every model is a businesswoman. Now, even if she is working in studio, she is not working for a boss. She is uh, paying the studio for services uh, to main maintain her business. Uh, online modeling is business. Uh, second, uh, uh, it, you know, if you treat this as a business, you uh, need to use uh, business uh, systems which are 
already invented and you need to implement it. Uh, like branding, marketing, you are doing sales, you need to uh, know how to sell. Um, of course, style. Style, you need to, to take care of your appearance and style, it's not uh, what trends are, but it's something unique, individual, you need to find that. And uh, so this is three and what's more? Yeah, <laughs> self-developing. Uh, this is very important and uh, this is what I also teach more that you need to self-develop because your business made by your personality, around your personality. You make online persona and you need to develop this persona. You need to develop your um, physical part, yes, like body and uh, maybe do sports, healthy eating, uh, makeup, clothes, it's all the physical part, uh, you need to develop it. And uh, uh, second is um, you need to develop your emotional uh, part. This is very important because models are communicating with a lot of people, with, uh, with people from all over the world. And there are no uh, limits of this communication, you know, and you need to know how to deal with uh, conflicts, with aggression, with uh, uh, different emotions like sadness, uh, um, you, you need to understand those emotions inside yourself, but also inside other people. And um, how, how you develop this, you uh, maybe read books about psychology, maybe you go to therapies. And this is um, like emotional, uh, emotional IQ you need to develop it. And the uh, third part of self-developing is um, uh, into, in, intellectual, intellectual. Yes, you need to um, be interesting person to talk with. You need to read uh, uh, news, you need uh, to educate yourself. Uh, elementary, just go uh, into English courses, go uh, to makeup courses. Now everything what you learn, skills, it's uh, uh, self-developing as well. Uh, so it was Do you work. That was for yeah. Do you uh, on this note? Do you believe it's important for models to go to uh, to summits, to trade shows, and like uh, get information from there? Yes, let's uh, put this as the five uh, pillar. It's uh, networking. Yes, mm -hmm. of course, it's very important to go on summits to get to know people from industry, uh, other models, studios, companies, sites. Uh, this is absolutely a must uh, do for every model to be top model. Why do you think that is? Why do you think they, they need to do that? Uh, because on the summits, you um, meet people who uh, the same thinking and uh, you have inspirations and you have connections in, in different situations in uh, your profession or even in personal life, you can um, collaborate with these people. You can uh, ask for help or help others. Uh, this is uh, uh, important. The networking is very important in every industry and uh, in adult industry is even more important because uh, nobody will understand you as much as a person from the same industry. That's, that's true. Uh, speaking of industry summits, uh, Bucharest Summit is coming up in September. Um, what are your expectations from it? You've been to it before, you've seen it, you've, I, I believe you've won some awards as well. Uh, what are your expectations for this year? Well, I uh, can't wait to, to visit it again because uh, Bucharest Summit is one of the best and uh, um, this year I expect uh, something different because of course uh, the world situation and uh, um, because uh, now you uh, PR manager of Bucharest Summit and this <laughs> is the, uh, because as I know you you do everything perfect and everything is fun when uh, you are around that's, and, that's not uh, pressure that's no pressure <laughs> um, 
well, this this my uh, opinion about you and Bucharest Summit. So I expect amazing show. Uh, I expect to meet uh, a lot of people, and I really um, hope there will be more Russian speaking because uh, they are my clients. Um, and uh, I really hope uh, that the situation with uh, COVID uh, won't make much influence on uh, traveling uh, at that period. What do you think we should learn from this uh, from this pandemic? <sighs> I can tell what I've learned. Uh, at the end, it's only one thing is important, the people around you. And uh, uh, it learned me to give uh, more um, time, my time, my energy to loved ones. Uh, and professionally, I learned that I'm very lucky with my team <laughs> because uh, we are so much one spirit and do amazing things. Um, I don't know. It's 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 a experience which is uh, uh, on one side is very hard, but on another side is uh, very learning and making uh, us only stronger. And as you said, uh, there are some things we cannot control, and uh, I am. Um, uh, pray every day to uh, higher power that uh, um, it gives me courage to uh, change things which uh, I can and uh, um, and accept the things that I cannot change and also have uh, wisdom to have to, to see the difference. This is uh, what helps me to deal with this. Uh, um, Crisis, quarantine, hard times. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Katya, for accepting my invitations to be on Spotlight Talks. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, Andra, and thank you for inviting me because it is also a pleasure for me uh, to talk with you, especially in those uh, days of uh, self isolation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Katya, and uh, much love, and we'll see each other soon, yes? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Thank you so much.